I'm back again with another tutorial. Today's tutorial will be about how to make 3D letters appear by an objects in uh, After Effects. And this is basically going to be a continuation of the tutorial I did about motion tracking in Buju and Cinema 4D. So let's begin. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to show you guys how I render out my text in Cinema 4D. Alright, so it's very important that when you do create your PNG sequence in After Effects that you keep the original footage because you're going to need it using my settings. Okay, so here we have our, our letter in our scene, and what I usually like to do is go to my render settings and turn on global illumination so that will make everything more shinier and for the material for the text or the color you want to make sure reflections are turned on and on reflection you want to put the brightness to 25 and the mix strength to 21 and basically just put it on your text and if you render it out you'll see all these shiny stuff but you won't see it because I usually use lighting to make my text more you know shinier but I know there's a lot of tutorials around YouTube to show you how to create those type of things so I don't need to do it okay so for your render settings you want to have go to output and change the frame range to all frames save it as a quick time movie very important and tick alpha channel which is another important thing make sure your render format is in quick time movie or else this won't work and then uh, you want to go to options and change it to the frame rate that you want uh, now go to anti-aliasing anti-aliasing on best and filter animation and for global illumination you want to put the GI mode to IR camera animation and go to this what is that irradiance cache or whatever it's called go to this first one and put it to low and the second one low and basically that's it and also what I like to do is I don't want the background in it since I won't need it that's why I said you guys need to have the original footage that you made into a PNG sequence in After Effects or whatever program you used so just delete the background because you don't need it and basically just click this button to render it out since I already have it rendered out I won't do it again and so let me just open up After Effects and continue with this tutorial very important is that I am now a director of tutorial cinema so at the end of my videos I'm gonna tell you guys to submit your tutorials and I'm gonna have the website link in the description of this video where you could submit your tutorials and what I want you guys to do is to go over to www.youtube.com slash tutorial cinema and subscribe to their channel since they have a lot of good content so here we have our setup we imported our text and we have the original footage that we used and very important is you have to have the text above the footage or else it won't appear so let's begin to for those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about we're having the text appear in an object it, or in front of it or behind an object if you could see here it's like the 5 is in front of the TV and it just doesn't look good so you want to have the TV in front of the text so what you want to do is go to pen tool and make sure you have your text layer selected and basically just mask out the part that is overlapping and when you close the mask you'll see that it's like only showing the part of the five that's like in front of the TV so what you want to do is press M on your keyboard and click subtract 
and basically what you want to do is click the stopwatch on mass path and keyframe the movements because it's just going to stay still and while the text is moving so you have to keyframe it to keep it in front of the text all right so seeing how i just went for three frames i have to move it over go for three frames move it over and basically just repeat that process and uh, the part where it's not showing before the tv like right there just uh you want to have just drag this off no that's not very good but this is a tutorial so i think you guys get what i'm saying it's just when the five is not in front of the tv you just want to have the mask off and when it starts to get in front of the tv then you just want to mask it up and you could do multiple masks on this because if you see here if i go forward this bottom part or the bottom text is doing the same thing so you just want to go back to the pen tool and basically mask over the text and then change it from add to subtract and basically just motion track it again and that is it i want to thank you guys for getting me 100 subscribers i appreciate it and i love you guys very de dearly and uh i will see you guys for my next tutorial which is i don't know when because i'm currently working on this episode for a friend so Submit your tutorials at Tutorial Cinema. I will have the link in the description to the website where you need to go to submit your tutorials. And that is all. So I will see you for my next tutorial. Goodbye, guys.